How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Talking Wars. We've got a brand new Transfer Rumours news uh, update today on the channel. Hope you guys are keeping well and safe. And as always, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Fast approaching 9,000 subscribers still, so please do get involved. It'd be nice to hit 10k over the summer. So yeah, please get subscribing if you haven't already. But uh, lots of news as always to get into. If you've got any thoughts on the rumours and the uh, news that I'm talking about today, be sure to give your thoughts in the comments section down below. So we're going to kick off with the first piece of news. And once again, it is about Mr. Rafa Mir. Uh, he, I think the last three or four updates, I've mentioned this guy's name. And of course, doing really well at the moment uh, at Huesca out on loan in Spain. But it seems pretty likely that he is not going to be staying at the Spanish club. He's going to be returning to Wolves and possibly either be kept by Nuno, but it seems like most of the rumours are pointed in the direction that he will be sold this summer whilst his price is high. Um, now, I've, I've reported before on the videos, a number of Spanish teams have uh, been interested in Rafa Mer, but the most recent rumours are pointing him in the direction of Valencia, a club obviously, once again, with strong ties with Jorge Mendes. And um, it's been reported by a couple of sources that a swap deal of sorts could work in both clubs' favour. Um, so the the newest one, which uh, was actually released today by a um, a report, co uh, not report, an outlet, sorry, called Sport Aragon uh, from Zaragoza in Spain. Um, they have said that Valencia are the best placed team at the moment to sign uh, Rafa Mir this summer, and it has been reported that uh, Valencia's attacking midfielder and forward. Kangin Lee, the South Korean uh, international, could be used in some sort of potential deal. However, they said it wouldn't be a straight swap. It would be more than likely a move that involved money for both clubs, i.e. Rafa Mir goes to Valencia for 15 million and we sign Kangin Lee for 15 million. It will more than likely be something like that just to help both clubs financial fair play. So it's a little bit of a loophole. It's sort of similar to what we did with uh, Keanu Hoover and Diogo Jota uh, with their moves to, from obviously Wolves to Liverpool and Liverpool to Wolves respectively. And um, yeah, it would obviously be to help us get around that financial fair play. Uh, another swap deal that was reported by La Razón, uh, again, a, a, an outlet in Spain. Uh, they said that Wolves could sign Gonzalo Guedes from Valencia. Of course, he's been quite heavily linked uh, over the last few weeks. Uh, Guedes plus cash, uh, uh, no, Rafa Mir plus cash, sorry, for Gonzalo Guedes. Uh, so once again, because of the Mendes, um, the Mendes relationship, it seems very, very doable. Uh, move on to the next one. Of course, Nuno, his job has been, uh, there's been question marks over his job security and whether he will be at the club uh, next season. Um, of course, there's just been certain moments and, and things that have been said which make you think, is he going to be here next season? Of course, there was pressure from fans not so long ago as well. And then with Jose Mourinho under pressure over the last few weeks or so, it was said that Nuno was one of the front runners to be considered for that Tottenham job. So over the weekend, uh, it was Journal de Noticias, uh, the, the outlet that broke the news about Neves and Pedro Neto's absences from the war squad. Uh, they said that the former Benfica manager Bruno Lag was going to be one of the front runners for the Wolves job if Nuno were to leave and go to Tottenham. Now, to be honest, I wasn't that convinced about Lag. Um, when I saw it, he's he sort of a, he was a former coach, really. Sort of made it, you know, had quite a quick passage to becoming a manager. But when you look at it, he had a really, really good record at Benfica. He ended up losing his job due to a pretty poor run at the end of his uh, uh, time there. But he had a really solid uh, career there. And when we put it on Twitter, so many Benfica fans were saying that they would love to see him in the Premier League and they wish he was back at Benfica. So obviously they hold him in quite high regard as well. So he has been linked with Wolves previously. But again, um, of course, Journal de Noticias have sort of renewed that rumour. However, more recently, of course, now uh, Jose Mourinho has been sacked from Tottenham this week. It was, you know, a few Wolves fans were looking at the, the odds quite quickly to see if Nuno was up there as one of the favourites. Um, but apparently, uh, it, there's a large chance that Nuno wouldn't leave Wolves to join Spurs once again because of the George Mendes factor. Apparently, George Mendes had said that the London club are very complicated to deal with. And he even advised Jose Mourinho to not 
join Spurs, uh, which Mourinho ignored and joined. And obviously it hasn't lasted uh, too long for the special one at Spurs. So, you know, we'll keep our eye on that. Of course, now Spurs have uh, jumped out of the European Super League. Uh, Nuno, I think if they were in the Super League, Nuno would have been dead against it. But who knows? Maybe, you know, because uh, Ryan Mason has been put in charge of Spurs until the end of the season, they're probably waiting uh, to, to approach maybe a, a manager who is already at a club. Obviously, I think Nagelschmann is the favourite right now. Um, a, a, another striker that was linked with Wolves is Roman Yaramchuk, uh, the Bel um, the Ukrainian forward, I believe, uh, currently playing for Ghent uh, in Belgium. Uh, apparently, they are looking to sell him once again. He's 25 years of age. Sell him whilst his stock is high. He's grabbed uh, 18 goals uh, this season for the Belgian club. And Wolves are said to be one of the favourites for his signature. Apparently, he wants to move on to bigger and better things. And uh, yeah, 18 goals this season. Wolves are one of the club's uh, that uh, have been linked with his signature. Talking about strikers, though, Raul Jimenez, of course, we haven't quite seen him come back just yet. It looks likely that we probably won't see him now until the uh, until next season or, or throughout pre-season. Uh, there was a report, though, last week from ESPN Mexico that a number of uh, MLS clubs had uh, put Raul Jimenez at the top of their list to try and sign um, last summer and possibly looking into this summer to see if a move was uh, plausible, but of course, due to his head injury, uh, they said they're probably not going to bother him uh, until the end of next season. Now, it's mainly because uh, over in MLS, of course, I had the li likes of still uh, Javier Hernandez, Carlos Vaya has been a huge star over there as well. It's reported that we were saying Raul Jimenez could be the next Mexican star to go over there because a number of clubs had a really high interest in him. A lot of fans laughed at this, to be honest, which I'm surprised at, you know. People think he is a top striker in Europe, which he is, fair enough. But I still don't think it's... Uh, what's the word? I don't think... I could. I think this genuinely could happen. Um, it's not it, It's not a ridiculous move, of course. Going to America a lot closer to Mexico as well. Still, of course, not a great level of football over there, but can still be paid well if you're classed as a designated player over there. So I don't think it's a, a ridiculous uh, shout to be honest, but of course, due to his injury, uh, these clubs aren't going to be coming knocking this summer, I don't think. But another striker that has been heavily linked with Wolves as well over the last week, Carlos Vinicius. Wolves were linked with him very heavily last season, and it looks like it could be another summer of rumours for him as well. Um, it was said last year that Carlos Vinicius, Wolves had a couple of big bids rejected from him uh, from Benfica uh, just before the coronavirus pandemic. Um, and of course, that has now seemed to calm down a little bit. He was he got uh, taken on loan this season for Spurs. He's got a decent goal-to-minute ratio at Spurs this season, although a lot of those goals in FA Cup against lower league uh, opposition. Uh, but of course, it sounds like Spurs are not going to be taking up the option to buy him. He's going to be returning to Benfica at a cut price fee. It said uh, Benfica would accept between 25 and 30 million euros for Carlos Vinicius. And uh, it said as well, uh, another source in Portugal said that Wolves could use Ruben Vinagre, who's very heavily linked with Benfica uh, in a part exchange deal for Vinicius. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely want to keep our eyes on because of, you know, it's been a player that Wolves have been linked with for a long while now. And definitely if it's true that we've put bids in before, and, you know, I'll, I'll be intrigued. You know, if he's happy to play second fiddle at Spurs behind Harry Kane, maybe he's going to be happy to be competing with uh, Raul Jimenez. But you have got Fabio Silva there to, to think about as well. And uh, finally, it's uh, a youngster uh, that Wolves were linked with uh, last week as well. Uh, Tomasz Suslov, uh, the 18-year-old currently playing for Groningen in Holland. Uh, he's played 25 times this season for the Dutch club and uh, according to Sport, uh, which is a paper and an outlet in Slovakia. Um, apparently, uh, scouts have been watching him in Holland um, and for a number of times, a number of games, and it's a player that could be high up on the list of uh, Fosen and Wolves this summer. So, Tomasz Szuslov wants to keep our eyes out on this Summer. So, uh, guys, yeah, lots to uh, get through today. Of course, let me know your thoughts on all of those. It's Rafa Mir once again. Bit of Nuno in there. Bit of Jimenez in there. And, of course, a few different other players as well. So, yeah, be sure to hit the like button down below, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all very, very soon.